Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove, or welcome back if you're returning. Y'all know we like to do farmhouse decor on a Dollar Tree budget, and I am so excited to have y'all here today. Today I'm doing my first collaboration in a long time with Shannon from Shannon's Crafty DIYs. We're going to talk about that in just a little while, but for now let's get right into the DIYs. We have chosen a nautical theme for our collaboration today, and DIY number one is a super simple one just like all the other ones in this video. So I'm taking two of these wood planks from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to paint them. I do have my paint colors listed above that I'm using. I paint both of them on the fronts and all around the sides. After we get those both painted with one good coat, I'm going to take a sand dollar and a starfish from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to glue one to each of the little wood planks. And all I'm using here is hot glue. So after we've got both of those pieces glued on, I have made some little decals on my Cricut. One says sand and the other says, I think, sea. So on the sand one, I'm going to take it and just put it on the piece of wood that has the sand dollar. And this one I was able to do in just one word. On the sea one, we have to do that a little bit differently because of the tip of the starfish. I'm going to show you that in just a second, but we just get our little decal on there. Now we're at the C one. So I had to do this one a little different because of that tip there on the starfish. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my E on first because I made it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to go right on either side and do the S and the A. And y'all, that's it. Look how cute these turned out. You can use them for a tiered tray, just stand them up on their own, however you want to. I love how they turned out. So again, today I am so excited for my first collaboration in months. And I am teaming up with Shannon from Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Y'all, Shannon is so talented. She joins us every single month in our five under five uh, decor challenge that Emily from Farm Charm Chic and I do every month and i love everything that she puts out she reached out to me and asked me if i would like to collab with her and i was so excited again i haven't done a collab in a long time so it was so exciting to do my first collab again in a while with shannon so shannon thank you so much and y'all you can also find shannon on instagram i will try to remember to link her instagram in the description box as well she puts on the cutest pictures of all her diys thank you so much shannon i am loving this and i'm loving our nautical theme diy number two so for this diy i'm taking one of these signs from the dollar tree hanging signs the seaside was actually on there but it was just glued on there or no it wasn't glued on there y'all I took that off something else. I don't even remember what I took it off of. But anyway, I'm glad I saved it. So I'm taking the metal sign here and I'm just going to pop that little fit, that little star off. Oh my goodness, here I go. I'm tripping over my words. Y'all know how I am. And then I am going to take Ocean by Waverly and paint the whole word seaside. And I do two good coats on that. After I get the coats dry, I use some white Waverly chalk paint and I just do a little bit of distressing on there just to give it a maybe like a 3d look i don't know just to make it pop out a little more then i'm going to take white white waverly chalk paint and i'm going to paint my star now instead of hanging i want this to like sit somewhere so i'm just going to take two tumbling tower blocks from the dollar tree and put those right on the back so that that can sit up anywhere i want it we're going to just glue on our seaside and i just put my hot glue on the back I do have to do it at a little bit of an angle, but that was good because that made it cover up one of the holes from where it was a hanging sign. 
And then on the other hole, I just go ahead and glue my star. And that's it. How stinking simple. And I love how it turned out. So cute. All right, we're moving right along, y'all. DIY number three. So for this DIY, I'm only showing five tumbling tower blocks, but I wanna say, I'm not really sure how many I did. I'm gonna show you here in just a minute. But I'm taking them and I'm painting three of them to begin with, with white Waverly chalk paint. I thought I put that in here, but maybe I didn't like where I did earlier where I put the paint color on there. Oh, there it is. So I paint three of them with white Waverly chalk paint. And then we're gonna move on after these three. Sorry I showed y'all me painting these like crazy. And then we're gonna move on from these three and we're going to use Ocean Waverly Chalk Paint on two of them. I think I end up doing seven maybe, I'm not really sure. Maybe more than that, we'll see in just a minute. And then after that, we're going to take, how many more do we take? three more and we're going to use Caribbean paint by Apple Barrel. And then I decided I needed a little bit more. Y'all know how indecisive I am. And we're going to go ahead and use white Waverly chalk paint and paint three more. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to glue all these together and just make a little Satan. So on one of the white ones, I put the B and then I'm going to spell out the word beach on the other ones. Now you can do these in any color combinations you want. And I did beach on five of them, and on the other three, I did sun. I just did them, like I said, do them in any type of um, order that you want, however you want the colors. This is just how I wanted them, so that's why I, I did them this way. So then I'm just gluing all of the beach, work, beach letters together, and then we glue, same thing for the sun, just using hot glue. Then I'm going to wrap some twine around the bottom of the one that says sun, and the top of the one that says beach, and that's it. How stinking cute are these? And y'all, I love these because you can use them for, again, tiered tray decor or just anything, and I think they turned out so cute. Okay, we're moving right along to DIY number four. So now we're gonna use more tumbling tower blocks, and we're using 18 of these. And what I'm doing is I'm making six bundles of three. I hope that makes sense. That's the only way I knew to explain it, y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue three together, one right on top of the other. And again, we're doing three. So after we get this finished, we're going to end up with six bundles that have three tumbling tower blocks. Lord, I hope that makes sense, y'all know me. After we get that finished, we're going to take two bundles and glue them together end by end, or end to end. What we're doing is we're making just a mini stacked book set for, um, I'm not actually putting these things on a tiered tray. My last project is the project that I'm actually gonna put these on, but do that three times. Glue two bundles together end to end. After that, I'm going to start painting them. I have my paint colors, you can see them right up here, um, but you, again, use any colors you want, any colors that you think will go good with your decor. That's what crafting's all about. We are just here for inspiration here on YouTube, just to inspire you to get to crafting. But honestly, make it your own because my decor may not fit your decor. So after we get all three bundles painted, I'm using the colors Caribbean, Cloudless, and Ocean. Um, the Caribbean and the Cloudless are Apple Barrel paint, and the Ocean is, of course, Waverly Chalk paint. Now we're just putting on the finishing touches on our last bundle. After we get that finished, I've printed three little small decals off of my Cricut. One says sunshine, one says sandcastles, and I don't remember what the other one says, so I'm going to have to wait and see what it says. But I put one bundle on the front, or I'm sorry, one seashells, one decal on the front of each bundle again we're making our little book stack you can put these in any order you want they don't even have to be in the order that i put them but then i just go ahead and start gluing them right on top of each other each bundle on top of each other to make our little faux books i've always wanted little books for a tiered tray i usually just put like 
I used to just do the um, crates and make those faux books, but I love how these tumbling tower blocks turn out when I do them like this. So then I just take some twine, wrap it around, then I'm going to make a finger bow that I learned from my friend Amanda at Six Kids and a Glue Gun, just by wrapping some twine around my fingers, pinching it in the middle, and then tying it off. After we get that finished, we are going to take some nautical ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree, and we are going to make just a little simple shoestring bow out of that. Then we're going to glue those two bows together. I'm going to glue that shoestring bow right on top of the finger bow. I just wanted to give it just a little bit more color and not use just the twine for the bow. We glue those together, then glue that right on top of our book stack, and that is it. I, again, I love how this one turned out also. Y'all make sure you let me know in the comments what is your favorite. Moving right along to DIY number five and our final DIY. So for this, I got an anchor shelf from the Goodwill. I think it was like $4.25, but then I did get it um, half price. So it was under $3 for me. And I'm just going through and painting two good coats on the entire piece, except for the back of Waverly chalk paint. After we get that finished, we're going to take a chippy brush and some ocean Waverly chalk paint and going through and distressing the entire part, the entire shelf, all of it. Every piece that we can see, we're going to just do a little bit of distressing. I didn't get too heavy on this. I just wanted to give it, make it pop a little bit from just being white. Then I'm going to take some nautical rope and I go ahead and wrap this around, I think about eight times, and I secure it on the back just with hot glue. I don't wrap it to where it's completely covered, just in a little pattern that I like. Um, you could wrap it all the way around if you want to, but for me, I just wanted to do this little, you know, just a little bit, just to give it a little something. And that's it. That's the end of that project. I like how this one turned out too. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Here is that project. I think it's super cute. And that's what we're going to put all of our decor on. So here is our final reveal with all of our projects together, everything sitting on my shelf that I want, except for my little seaside sign, which was a little bit too big and had to sit below it, but that's okay. I love how this turned out. I'm sure that my sister-in-law who decorates with nautical decor is going to want a lot of this, if not all of it, and that's fine with me. I love to make things to give away to my friends and family. Again, thank you to Shannon for being such an amazing crafter and for asking me to collaborate with her. I have loved this so much. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now. You hear?